Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video, we're going to be creating a Squarespace membership and subscription website. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so we'll go ahead and jump into this. So where you want to go first is the website. So if you go ahead and click on this and then go to the pages. What you'll see here is just under pages on the not linked area. You want to go ahead and click on the plus icon until you find the member site. So go ahead and click on that. These are the different templates that are available for the member site. Now, the good thing about this is it is customizable. So if you do feel comfortable enough to customize your actual website, then it'll be no problem to customize the ad member site or the member site itself, sorry. So we'll go ahead and just click on one of these. So now we'll have an option on our pages area that says member sites. Now, of course, I can customize this as well and just change the name, but we'll just leave it at that. When you are customizing it, it is pretty much, as I said, the same as customizing your main site. So you would just click on edit here. As you can see, you can, you can still add blocks. You can customize the sections. And of course, there are still templates for the layouts. So everything is more or less the same here. Just exit this now. Now, the most important part here is to add a pricing plan. So if you go ahead and click on this. Now, as you can see, a pricing plan is required for your member site. So create a pricing plan to finish setting up your member site and place it behind a paywall. So without a pricing plan, customer customers can't access your member site. So we'll just go ahead and create a pricing plan here. So there's a couple of different ones that you can create here. So we've got the gold subscription at the minute and you would just put down your description. It does say optional, but I would recommend to uh, fill this up. And once you're happy enough, just go ahead and click on create. So you can see here, pricing plans. So this member site is paywalled. Customers can gain access by purchasing any of the pricing plans below. Pricing plans will automatically appear on your paywall. So we've already got our gold subscription here. Now we can create a new one as well. So let's just say silver. And what we'll do here now is just change this up a little bit. And we'll change the pricing plan. Perfect. Now that we've got two of our subscriptions added in, you can see here that we have our gold subscription and silver subscription. So if you just check out the paywall, this is how it's going to look. Now this is, of course, only available for uh, members. And this is what they'll see, as you can see. This is what people will see if they visit a paywall page while logged out. Now you can customize this for every digital product. Now, uh, just at the bottom here, you can hide the pricing plan if need be. So that's pretty much our paywall now completed. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on save for this. And I'm going to go ahead and just go back. So that's our pricing plans. And of course, you can create as many as you want. Uh, but for the meantime, we'll just have the two here. So we're going to move on to the next step here, which is customizing the navigation menu. So the way you would locate yourself there is, again, just go to website and then just go to the pages part. Once you're here, you'll have an option at member sites. And you just want to click on the settings. Now with the settings here, you can see it'll replace the main navigation. So when members are logged in, member navigation replaces the main navigation on your site. So um, the one that you'll see for this part will be completely gone and you'll only have the option then for the member site. So you can see here at the minute it's called member site homepage two. 
So if we do click on this, we can of course customize the name of this one. So just go to page settings. And of course we could change the page title. Uh, test member site. Good. Uh, just make sure you go through the SEO as well for this. So of course change the navigation title on this. Test member site. And of course with the URL slug, we'll just do the same thing here. And of course with the SEO, uh, at the minute we are hidden from search results, which makes sense, which is perfect. So we'll go ahead and save that. Okay. So now if we just go back and then we'll just go to the home. If we go back to pages, should have an option now. Once this is open. Okay, it's now loaded in. So yeah, we've now changed the name to test member site. So now the next thing that we need to do here, of course, uh, for this membership to work is that we do need to set up a uh, payment processor and configure the settings. So one way you can do this is to navigate your way to the settings part and then just locate, uh, locate for payments. So then of course uh, you would just turn on the Squarespace payments. Now, Squarespace does change their navigation and layout quite often. So you might find it hard to locate yourself to the payments part. So a way to do this as well, if you click on the slash on your keyboard, uh, this little search bar will appear. So you just want to go ahead and then search up payments on this part. And it'll come on here as well. So we'll go ahead and just set this up. So you pretty much just want to go through all of the different questions that they have here, just to activate the Squarespace, the Squarespace payments. And I will show you the pricing plans that you should use in order to have this. So as you can see, just go through all the details here until you've got your uh, setup all completed. So now we do need to create a sales page here. So in order to do that, just go to your main navigation and just click on the plus icon there. Go ahead and click on the page layouts. Now these are all pre-built templates, which is pretty good. It'll just save us some time here. So if you just go to digital products, then you can see here, you've got some layout already. So let's just go for this one. Looks okay. And then we'll just call it memberships. And this is pretty much where we would just edit this and create it. So again, just click on the product, highlight it, go ahead and choose the actual package that we've just created. So of course we did create a gold package and we also created a silver package. So well, I'll probably just have this one as my silver package. It'll make a little bit more sense to do that. So there you go. So that one's for £10. And for our gold package, I want to go for this one. You can go ahead and design this as well if need to. So uh, you can set the alignment as you can see. Uh, I would just keep everything here since we have filled it all up for the member site. So that looks okay. And of course, just go ahead and click on the save on the top left. So now this will be an actual page that people can, can see on the navigation menu. Right. Now, if you do decide that you want to create a completely custom page just for the membership, now you can do that as well. Again, you would just click on the plus here, just go for a blank page. So as you can see, it is just an empty page. Just go ahead and click on edit. Go ahead and add a section in. We'll just go for a, just one of these sections for now. 
add a section in, go for a blank section. And you can add a block in. So if you just scroll down, you'll see digital product. If you click on that, again, there it is. This is where we'll be able to change the subscription and plan. So it is fully customizable, same way as it is for the pre-built layouts or templates that they already have for every single page there. But guys, that is pretty much everything that you need to know when it comes to adding member sites. If you have any questions at all, let us know in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.